Thanks, Robin. And of course, most of the heat is on Toyota. We've also been talking about a potential criminal investigation. But lawmakers also have some hot questions for regulators, whether or not they should have been tougher. There are two prominent Democrats who are criticizing the NHTSA, which I think we all know by now is the top cop for cars, the safety agency. They say it was seriously deficient when it comes to responding to complaints of runaway Toyotas. Uh, the agency's boss is Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. He'll be at the hearing taking those questions. Uh, but something to keep in mind is that today's hearing, it's a House subcommittee, and it's led by a Democrat, Bart Stupak, from Michigan. And there are some people who argue that not just safety, but politics might be at play. That if you're from Detroit, you might be looking to kind of score points in that whole made in the USA versus foreign cars issue. And of course, Robin, I'm not saying that, but we get lots of email from people. They have lots of different views on what they think about the hearing. And of course, the big hearing is going to be tomorrow when Toyota's chief speaks in front of a different panel. Watching them on YouTube. And you should have the brains to back it up, though. Don't just show your shoes. If well, you she, didn't go to Oxford. Each one of her <laughs> shoes is telling a story. Right. You know, and she says at the end, what should be my shoes at Tufts? And she shows slippers with Tufts mascot, the elephant. See, she's creative. They gotta get her in. You That's gotta let one. her in. Early admission. Jen, thank you. <laughs> Goopable kind. Yeah. It's gotta be tough. I wanna know what the new flavors are, too, because I, I, I know I'm pretty good about not buying the Ben and Jerry's until there's a new flavor. And then I'm like, oh, oh, I, I gotta try that one. <laughs> <laughs> I must experiment. That's my excuse. <laughs> All right, the new Wall Street. Tell you what you need to know about your money. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is one part of it that really could affect you because now there's going to be a government agency that their whole job is to watch your back. The new watchdog is called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Come on. I, I'm telling you, I want to call it the Money FBI. I think that's a good name for them. Come on, guys. Take it on. Yeah. CSI, something like that. They could have come up with something sounding like sexy like that. So yes, its mission is to protect you from sleazy lending, abusive practices, predatory lending. So they're going to be looking at about so many states that are over their budgets because people have lost their jobs. So we just don't owe the same in taxes anymore. Well, here's a rarity. Virginia has got a surplus. West Virginia and Connecticut as well. That's our on the bright side story. Uh, so in those states, you might not see as many drastic changes like higher taxes or job cuts for cops, firefighters, and teachers. The same headlines you hear about in many other states. All right, could this be the most caloric sandwich? Oh, thing is gross. Yes. <laughs> A major museum. Good morning. Thanks, Robin. I mean, this is big change for you and the way that we all interact with the financial system. And it's also a big change for Wall Street and banks. The biggest change they've seen coming from Washington since the Great Depression. Now, the law is going to take action to prevent another bailout and to protect you from financial abuse. So it passed the Senate, three Republicans voting for the measure, two from Maine and from Massachusetts, Senator Scott Brown. It's 2,300 pages long, so it is now on its way to the president's desk. All it needs is his signature before it becomes law. 